Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 30th, 2020, our last trading day of September. Well, last night, well, yesterday, we had a market that was just kind of um, uncertain, and that would be expected ahead of a presidential debate and a big um, day to day luge that we face over the next three days in the market. A lot of uncertainty out there. So, we had a presidential debate last night. Did we learn anything? Um, I'm not sure that we did, except the fact that we got the confirmation that our leaders behave poorly and that we have a deep division in this country. So what does that mean for today's setup? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we're looking at a futures market. During most of the debate last night, futures remained positive, but then kind of as it was coming to an end, futures really started to sell off. We dropped, Dow futures were down over 250 points at one point. They have rallied off of those lows so far this morning as we head toward a big amount of economic data, and that's gonna really be affecting us over the next three days. And unfortunately, um, right after the bell yesterday, we heard that Disney, um, well, the next three days is going to be a heavy focus into jobs. And uh, Disney announced after the bell yesterday, they're laying off 28,000 people. We've heard this morning from Shell um, because of the damage that's going on in uh, the oil sector. They are laying off 9,000 people. And we know that unless um, a multi-billion dollar um, deal is signed off in the next 24 hours, uh, tens of thousands of airline employees will hit the unemployment line. Not good for the economy. Even though we're going to have data today that will not include that, that certainly will weigh on the thought process of the market as we move forward. So a little bit of uncertainty here, and we'll look at those in, uh, those economic that economic data here in just a minute. Let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart. If we take a look at price action first, and notice that we are still in a downtrend. Um, not exactly that warm and fuzzy we were hoping for yesterday. Um, pushing up here, we kind of drifted into the gap yesterday um, with a somewhat bearish pattern here on the Dow. And this morning we're gapping down. Um, right now Dow futures are showing a gap down of 184 points. Once again, they have rallied off of lows. That's this candle here is trying to show us what's happening um, here this morning. So we could easily uh, push back and fill that gap, giving up um, that big rally on Tuesday. So let's watch that carefully and closely. Let's also remember that we still have to deal with price resistance in the chart. That's um, the uncomfortable thing here on the Dow and that that head and shoulders top pattern um, still is playing out um, with that resistance right here. If we take a look at the technicals, uh, moving averages and things on this chart, we also have to recognize that we ha are struggling here with a 50-day moving average here in the Dow and that our shorter-term moving averages have moved down and they're really creating a level of price resistance right in here. So we're going to need some kind of influence, some kind of inspiration to maybe push up through there. Can we get that in that data today? Perhaps. Let's keep a close eye. Um, it's, it's also possible we could inspire the bears from that data today. And we're right at that perfect place of that potential sell-off. This is a, a pattern that we call the blue ice failure, where we fall through that 50-day moving average, rally back to that resistance point, and then potentially fail. Also keep in mind, and I've been repeating this um, in the morning videos, 
that 50 day moving average is flattening out and potentially showing us that possible rollover. So be really, really careful here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, very similar pattern. Um, we're struggling here with our 50 day moving average, almost a bearish engulfing pattern right here at the 50 day moving average with that spike candle yesterday that uncertainty in the market uh, drifting back down into the big gap on tuesday also showing that downtrend um, we're trying if well it depends on how you draw it if we draw it here you can see we broke above the downtrend and we're trying to prove to hold it if you draw that downtrend here at that 50 obviously we have some issues still to still to deal with in the chart keep in mind that we have lots of price action resistance in the chart as well as that 50-day moving average and those shorter term averages pushing down to provide that resistance as well so a little bit of uncertainty here in the SPY um, that we'll want to pay close attention to and also one more time that 50-day moving average flattening out and potentially showing us that rollover could occur here in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, the QQQ has the best chance of lifting us up out of here. It has been the strongest of the indexes, um, breaking that downtrend and holding this break back up. We broke above that little level of resistance. We broke above this little level of resistance. We still have this level of resistance that's challenged us in the chart before with these two big, ugly, dark candles here. And we're setting here on our 50 day moving average. Now, this morning we gapped a little bit lower. We were indicating a, uh, a gap down in this, but notice um, the pre-market, they are pumping that back up to test that 50 day moving average again. Perhaps that hold can come in there on that 50 day, but we'll wanna watch that closely as we hit all of this data. We could certainly um, shift lower pretty easily or prove to hold that 50-day moving average, adding some bullishness here in the tech sector, so watch that close. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, uh, nothing here uh, that really gained any confidence. We're still in the downtrend here on IWM, um, struggling along with the 500-day moving average with the 50-day moving average above, and that is certainly showing that flattening out, possibly rolling over with our shorter-term averages, having all already crossed down through that 50. So some challenges here um, in the indexes with three of the indexes really showing some bearishness still and the NASDAQ trying to lift us up out of, um, out of the market. So crazy, crazy times that we're looking at here um, with um, high prices in the market, so much market uncertainty, so much political drama, um, tough for the market to digest all of that. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX um, yesterday just kind of seesawed back and forth. Um, once again, a VIX isn't being very useful at all in my opinion in this chart um, because it is very odd that we're not moving much in the VIX like we've kind of given up on it or something one thing I want to point out that has been a little bit I've not said anything about it but starting to provide a little bit of concern um, obviously we're holding this support in here and I want you to notice the possibility that we could be forming a colossal head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders pattern here on the VIX if that fear were to really start coming in um, that could be an ugly situation so watch that closely if we take a look at t2122 it's the four week new high new low ratio I had someone uh, leave a message yesterday and I didn't get a chance to answer that on the on the YouTube about possibly a manipulation of some kind in the market and, and I got to tell you it, it's easy to to think you know manipulation when we're seeing big overnight gaps like this um, there's very little retail activity in those big overnight gaps that's all institutional activity pushing us around in those overnight gaps so they're generating generating an awful lot of whip back and forth but um, I would probably um, move away from 
the the term manipulation because it it brings in all these negative connotations and starts that you know conspiracy theory out there the best we can do as retail traders is know that the institutions have the predominance of the money they have about 80 percent of the money in the market retail traders really are a tiny um, tiny faction of the overall market. So when they move, the best we can do is just pay attention to their price action. What are they doing? What clues are they leaving behind in that? And try not to get involved in the whole manipulation conspiracy theories. Otherwise, you'll just grind yourself to a halt and wouldn't be able to trade. Take a look at uh, T2122. We pulled back yesterday. So although we were trying to show some bullishness in the market, trying hard to kind of hold up at different times, the majority of stocks were in a um, either pullback or consolidation with a few of the techs trying to hold up the NASDAQ. But as you can see, um, back down here in the middle of the zone, which means that we have opportunity to go either direction. We certainly certainly have upside room, we have plenty of downside room, and we have this uncertainty just kind of floating around here in the middle. I think that is really showing us the truth of the market right now because we have so much data coming our way. The market just doesn't know quite where we go from here. The path forward seems pretty cloudy. Let's take a look at a T2101. This is the um, something that's been a concern for me for a while and remains that way. If we take a look at T2101, notice that we're just struggling with our market breadth. Um, on our when we get get selling in the market the selling brings up the market breadth when we see buying coming in our market breadth begins to fade so we're not seeing a lot of uh, follow through um, in most companies. We're getting a few companies leading the market, but we're not getting that good, warm, and fuzzy that um, confidence is coming in. Now, we could find a little bit of price support in here. Let's watch that carefully. What we don't want to see is if those bears really come in strong, see that breadth really starting to increase, holding this uptrend on the selling wave. That could be damaging for us, so watch that closely. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Um, and I've been mentioning this all morning here as I've been doing the prep video, but we have just a slew of things coming our way that could really affect the market. First, we have the ADP report. Now, ADP has not been the biggest market mover out there. As a matter of fact, it's really kind of lost its shine over the years missing pretty horribly many times um, on that ADP. Um, so kind of keep a close eye on that. It can certainly move us around, but um, something we want to pay attention to. Probably the bigger news this morning is this GDP, and consensus is suggesting the GDP is going to come in at a horrific negative 31 plus. Um, if that is the case, if we continue to keep our GDP at that level. It makes me wonder how in the world we can continue to support the current prices in the market if our gross domestic product is in such a negative position. Watch that closely. If that comes in a little bit better than expected, that could help the market. Comes in a little bit worse than expected, that could really put some pressure on the market. Watch that close. Keep in mind we have Fed speakers, more and more of that parade of Fed speakers out here, as, as well as the Chicago PMI and pending home sales and the petroleum status report. All three of those could move us around a bit today. And then keep in mind, we no longer, we no more than kind of finish that up. And we're going to have to think about all of these reports on Thursday morning that could move us substantially. So be prepared. We've got a lot of things coming our way, let alone the Friday um, employment situation number that could, uh, you know, anything is possible with that.
Let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar. Now on our earnings calendar, we have a really light day. We have only six companies verified to report. And the majority of those are uh, very, very small um, market cap type companies, unexpected to make any move. But we do have one company that we'll want to pay attention to, NG. NG um, Gold Miner reporting earnings today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Looks like it tried to pop up first thing this morning, running into some price resistance here in the chart. So keep that in mind. Um, it's been struggling with this price resistance and maybe that earnings report um, can give it a, enough energy to push it up through. But at the moment, it's looking like we're testing it and maybe failing up here once again. So watch that closely if you're interested in NG or happen to be holding that trade. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you would please do me a favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that thumbs up, or excuse me, that bell icon when it pops up um, so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, please, if you felt like this video was useful to you, if you got some information out of it that helped you prepare for the day, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment helps us to continue to grow and also remember please feel free to share this video and I want to say thank you I did see that there was someone out there that shared the video the other day thank you very much you guys are awesome I truly truly appreciate that now how about we take a look at a few stocks that are setting up and remember every time I post one of these videos or show a chart in this this video it's just part of the education that I provide it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security you do not want to blindly follow another traders trade recommendations you want to do your own evaluation and make sure that trade fits you let's take a look here CRWD I actually ended up up placing an alert on CRWD. Nice little trend in this chart holding up. Notice we broke through some price resistance here. We still have a little bit of concern with this big pop-up um, kind of looming overhead, but nice little consolidating move holding that support level. I want to be watching this if the market happens to catch some inspiration, if those bulls catch some, catch some inspiration, we could see that maybe pop out, move to the upside. Keep a close eye on CRWD. Also keeping an eye on Crocs. Crocs, pretty interesting chart here, um, consolidating after this breakout, just chopping in our little trend that we've got going here, showing that possible resumption to the upside. If we can get a little bullishness going in here, that possibility of popping on through could be there. Keep a close eye on that. Also, Costco. I've been mentioning Costco. Costco's held up pretty well, um, looking pretty good. Now, I wouldn't chase this move here, but Costco breaking through um, my alert here, holding up in this area. And if this can stay up in this area, watch for that next opportunity to maybe catch this along this trend. Costco holding up pretty well. And one of those stocks that has truly benefited from coronavirus. So keep an eye on that. I keep mentioning over and over and over uh, FedEx and UPS and FedEx and UPS continue to look pretty good here. Uh, FedEx consolidating in a nice light consolidation. Watch that for that next opportunity to potentially pop higher. It could also continue to shift clear out to this older trend. So keep in mind this may not go real fast but could um, uh, move up here soon. Watch that close. UPS also looking good. UPS in a little resting pullback, sliding over toward its trend. Watch that one closely. Um, a lot of price action was happening in retail yesterday. Um, take a look at Target. Target moving up through some resistance. This is blue sky highs up here. And as you can see, resting a little bit up here yesterday in this area, not really participating 
participating in any selling, resting up here, any rest or consolidation that slides us down into this area, we want to keep an eye on that for that potential upside move. Saw Dollar General, another stock that has truly benefited from coronavirus, trying to move higher but pulling back by the end of the day here. Um, what I want to uh, point out here is that this has broken out to blue sky highs and we're holding some support here in this chart. So if we can get some inspiration here, the possibility of that pushing on higher. We also want to watch this carefully if we cannot continue this upside trend. Breaking this support level could actually put us into that bearish condition here on Dollar General. So watch it close. Could easily go either direction. Lots of stocks out there to consider. One looking pretty good yesterday was NIO. Now I wouldn't want to chase the stock. It looks like it's trying to push on through that resistance this morning. I wouldn't want to chase this stock at this point right at the breakout because that puts there's no test of any support in here and that would put our stop loss quite a ways away. However, if we can break out, break out here and hold that resistance, or excuse me, hold that new support in that chart, then we have a really good low risk opportunity on that trade. Keep an eye on that. Um, NIO might be a pretty good stock for your list. Other stocks out there to consider, we've got a lot of stocks that are struggling around with resistance areas, potential failures in here. Berkshire B, we pushed down, broke this resistance, rallied back up, or support, rallied back up, testing it as resist resistance and then pulled back. Now, if we can hold this support in here, we could get that little double bottom pattern occurring in here, that little W pattern that might be bullish in the chart. However, watch that closely. There's a lot of stocks showing those potential sell-offs. So be really careful with over trading long trades with so much bearishness out there running around in the market. One that is holding on to some bullishness that we want to pay attention to is McDonald's pushing back up through that re um, break of support that we had here. Held, pushed back up. Now we're we're trying to test it as support. If those bulls can step in there, we may have an opportunity, but let's not forget the fact that this is technically a lower high and the possibility of a beginning of a downtrend um, in that chart. So there's a few charts for you to consider today. Um, be really, really careful. We've got a lot of data coming our way, a lot of information to kind of digest and anything is possible. So with that, have an awesome, awesome day, everyone. I want to wish you all the best. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Stay safe. Talk to you soon.